Hey everyone, Ray from Love Your RV. So we're going to do a little playtime today with a couple of my cameras. I've got one of my Halo View side mount rear view cameras with its battery pack. So I'm going to be able to turn it on and I'm going to take it out into the estuary there and pound the stake in and uh, try to get a time lapse of the tide coming in or maybe capture some bird action. But I'm also going to take my Acaso Elite 50 action cam. I'm going to go put it down there, maybe get some underwater action. At least that's my hope. So we'll do that and hopefully I'll catch some cool footage. Kind of a rainy day here on the coast today, but the tide should be coming in the next few hours. It's not going to be a super high tide, but in the last few days we've been watching a lot of meganser ducks and herons showing up to feed on fish, so hopefully that happens. Okay, camera's planted. Now we just can wait. Here's the Halo View display. So I'm seeing what is showing on that camera. I found it into the estuary there. And of course, this records. See up there, it's able to record the footage. So that should be interesting to play back. And then I can also time lapse it. Hopefully that little uh, action cam lasts long enough to get something. It's just got a small battery, so I don't know, it might only last an hour, an hour and a half. Good morning. Nice sunny day today. It's actually two days later. The first day when I fetched the cameras, I found uh, had some okay footage on the one I was trying to get the, the tide coming in and out, but the underwater camera, the tide didn't come in fast enough and I ended up uh, not getting any underwater footage. So I tried it again yesterday and I'm going to go down and fetch those cameras. So I thought I'd take you down into the estuary with me, give you a look around. A little bit swampy here. There's, it's pretty firm. I don't get too many uh, sinkholes or anything, but I got to watch it. Still got some water here. So here's where I actually set up this camera. It's kind of in a little pool here. I was trying to catch maybe the, the herons come through and I did catch one walking by. And over here, a little bit further, is where I put my uh, underwater camera. Curious to see if it's in good shape because actually some kayakers came along and I didn't see them at first and they were digging my camera. They thought someone lost the camera overboard. I'm like, hey, that's my camera. I'm like, oh man, sorry. <laughs> Looks like it's over there. I just hope they didn't open the underwater case or my camera's toast. There it is down there. Looks like it's still in good shape. Yeah, it still looks dry inside, so I guess they didn't accidentally open the case on it. So I'll leave that there, maybe we'll take a walk around a bit. Low tide. So this totally fills up. It'll fill right up to the bank there along the RV park. You can see our rig there with the happy face. Out in the back, it's actually a ship that's uh, loading up from that uh, that place that loads the, I guess it's uh, ore or something like that. I put it in my last video. I think that's a copper, silver, zinc mine, Mira Falls. And I had said I'd never seen a ship there before and suddenly this big ship showed up. Maybe when I finish down here, I'll give you a look at that. I like how this green forms on the bottom of the mud flaps. A 
go out to the main channel here. You can see someone's put in floats to mark where you don't want to go. Quite a few killdeer down here right now. They're a really pretty bird, a little shorebird. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right by the red boy there. There he is. Looks like he's doing some kind of mating thing or something. Last year or so, they've been setting up this fencing to get some kind of restoration going on. Red winged blackbird. There's lots of those around here. Oh, got a little deer visitors here. I don't think they see me yet. across the river. Here's down in the backside. This winds its way up into the city there. Some nice houses right on it. Let's pan this way. This is the group of trees that usually are in the view from our campsite. Our campsite's on the other side there. Here we are on the ocean side, on the Discovery Passage. I'll just give you a look at that big ship. It's tied up to that mooring buoy. Came in yesterday afternoon. I missed it coming in. All of a sudden we heard all this noise. Came out here and there was this big container ship. It's like it's called the Darling River out of Hong Kong. loading up. It's only the second, maybe third time I've seen a big ship show up at this uh, facility. Anyway, let's go back in there and uh, I can get to work on uh, editing the footage I got off those estuary cameras. Give you a look. like it's all dry. So that case works pretty good because that went through uh, two different tide cycles. Probably was underwater at least three or four feet. And a kayaker was poking at it.
love this blue heron selfie coming up. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little interlude of nature on the estuary. I'll be getting back to my normal uh, product reviews and upgrades to the RV, that sort of stuff, coming up in future uh, videos. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Cheers, everyone.